date and you know and you don't want to spam people as well like I don't like spamming people yeah um, I'm gonna spam you with this though like Perfect. so if you've been watching till here this is why you've seen it because I've shoved it in your face Perfect. <laughs> hashtag watch it now <laughs> in the sand. Today I'm actually near my hometown and I'm here with Alex Green. So how's it going? I'm good. I'm Amazing. Good. We just had this little tour of filming videos. So we did. We what's did. your first impression of it's hot. this? It's it really is. hot. It's, it's boiling, <laughs> isn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's great. It's really nice. It's a cool little quiet area yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, so yeah, so this tour right now, how did you plan it? So, um, so I'm, I must admit, I'm pretty terrible with organisation. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so uh, I kind of just, um, I've been around Europe before a couple of times yeah. and um, I have, you know, a list of contacts on my phone. So I message a few people and because I've just released a new uh, EP. So I was like, well, I need to, you know, it's been a few years since I got out. Yeah. Gave my music to people in Europe. So uh, I've literally released two CDs since uh, since last coming. So I thought um, it was about time I came back and Perfect. I just messaged some people and yeah. took off. <laughs> but, I mean, it works for you. Yeah, so. yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, amazing. So you've also played a few house gigs on this tour. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do one tonight. We are. One. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so what does it feel like for you to play in front of an audience that doesn't know you completely? Because there's gonna be a few strangers. Yeah. There, right? Um, I actually really like. It um, maybe probably well maybe not more just about the same as any other gig because they don't have any kind of preconceptions about who you are they don't know uh, you know that's the swan <laughs> going a, crazy over there the swan wants in wow. on the interview see you later mate that is brilliant sorry <laughs> um, for that <laughs> uh, guest swan appearance um, yeah so um, it, no it, it, I like it because they don't know anything about me and. Yeah. Um, they can just make their mind up on the night. And also the, the good thing about house gigs especially is it's quite hard to, you know, just stay for one song. You're kind of yeah. there for the whole thing. So yeah. if the first song didn't quite get your attention, then hopefully one of the other ones will. And huh. um, it's quite a nice way of learning about someone's music. You know, I think, that's, I think it's fun. Yeah, that's really cool. I haven't seen it this way. Yeah, that's that's yeah. amazing, yeah. Um, and when you tour different cities, do you always feel like there's a little difference when it comes to the crowds, like yeah, people different. Yeah, yeah I, th I think so. I mean, m for the most part, I mean, especially in Germany, I'm, yeah. I feel very blessed to play here because everyone's so good. <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> they're very attentive aud audiences compared to back home. Um, uh, not everywhere back home is, is bad, but um, you know, people just seem to actually uh, want to listen a bit, yeah. little bit more over yeah. here. Maybe it's lyrically or I'm not sure what it is, but mm -hmm. they got it right over here. Perfect. <laughs> we like hearing that. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> so you've just mentioned your new EP. Yes. And so what's been the process of writing that? So um, I, uh, I've kind of, uh, the last maybe, was it two years? So about two years ago, I released uh, an EP, and uh, from between then and recording this new one, I kind of the only thing that changed massively in my life is I'd started listening to a lot of different genres of music. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I've always been. I <laughs> <laughs> <We're all> just confused. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always listened to different kind of genres, but even not as in depth as I have been recently, and. Uh, um, I had writer's block for a while, so I, when I have that, I don't try to write. Okay. Because if I do, it's normally terrible. I have a whole list on my phone of songs, like on, in my memos, that are just god awful. You don't, oh god. You, you don't want to hear them. Right. Um, <laughs> we'll leak them. <laughs> yeah, no, we won't. No, we won't. But, um, but every now and again, one of them I'll listen back to and go, oh, you know, that's okay. And then I'll work on it. And it, like, this, this one was a lot less kind of. Um, uh, planned, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, this just kind of happened organically, and I just, when I felt like, oh, I, I've written a song, I'll be like, oh, maybe I'll use that somewhere, and then I write another one, and be like, oh, they kind of go together. And I ended up after a, after a year or so um, going, I think I've got enough to record a new EP. So, um, you know, it's probably not the most. Uh, it's probably not what people want to hear when they say like about an EP. Like my last one had a proper story to it, and, oh, okay. um, and everything. But this one was just. You know, I wrote some songs and I think they go well together. <laughs> like it's, it can fine, be that yeah. simple. It can be that simple. Um, yeah. 
but I mean I'm happy with it hopefully That's the hopefully you guys are I'm sure they are <laughs> um, so do you prefer writing alone or do you enjoy working with co-writers uh, it's something I'd really like to do I've not done much of it mm -hmm. um, I've uh, I've got some friends that do a lot of it and yeah. uh, I'm always a little bit envious when they say they've been writing with someone. Like, I would really like to try that. So, um, I, there are, there's a few friends that I have done small collabs with, but right. nothing solid. There's not mm. like a, a song that me and somebody else wrote. Okay. Um, so, I can't really say if I would prefer it because I don't really have much experience. So okay. If you want to, yeah. uh, you want to collab. Yeah. Hit, hit me up. There we go. <laughs> DM sign his DMs. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, is there anyone you would like to write with? Um, is, is that like a wish list or is that yeah, like... Yeah, just go crazy. <laughs> oh right. man. If you put it out there, it might come to you, do you know that? Jeez. Yeah, so it's goal many, setting right here. So many influences. Um, yeah. I'd really like to write with Matt Corby, Ben Howard, John Mayer, all for different reasons as well. Um, yeah. Oh God, there's just a huge list. And then there's a load of people that aren't around anymore that I'd like to, uh, to write with. <laughs> A little, bit, a little bit more difficult and yeah. less realistic, but um, oh yeah, no, I'm just I because I've got no experience in it. It's like a, a, a big black hole in my yeah. head of what it's going to be like, and it's something that I'd really like to uh, like you know look into. Yeah. I think I'll be on my next step of my musical journey. Yeah, you still got <laughs> lots to do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no rush. There's no rush. Exactly, so. exactly. It might happen one day naturally. Yeah, That's yeah. Be you cool. never know. Yeah. This might be a bit of a tricky question, but do you have any favourite lyrics that you've ever written? That I've written? Yeah. Um, it's a bit tricky. No, no, I, I, so I've got a song called Something Better, mm -hmm. and um, that whole song, all the lyrics in that really mean a lot to me, and um, they, uh, they probably always will, because I kind of wrote that without telling the whole story, because mm -hmm. um, I've told it a million times. But um, <laughs> there's a million other interviews if you would like to hear the whole story. That's, that's <laughs> but, good marketing. But, <laughs> but in short, yeah, go watch the others. Um, uh, but in short, uh, it's kind of the defining moment where I chose to pursue music full time. And um, I wrote it on the way back from Europe in Germany. Wonderful. In, in a truck stop somewhere in the back of my van um, and uh, it just it means a lot to me because I mean I think every every lyric in that um, I mean the the chorus is uh, you know the main hook is I'm made for something better and I feel like everybody's made to be happy you know yeah. there's no reason why anyone shouldn't be happy and um, sometimes you have to remind yourself of that because you can get so bogged down with stress and work and yeah. and all things that you kind of um, you forget that you know you, you deserve to be happy and everyone else deserves to be happy and uh, it, I just kind of had this like revelation and realized that and I was like you know what when I get home I'm not gonna go back into my job that I was doing I'm gonna you know because that didn't make me happy I'm gonna go and do what does and that's yeah. doing music so it could be doing anything you know I just I feel like it's a lyric that maybe there's a lot of people that you know should think think that sometimes it's good yeah. to be kind of selfish in that way sometimes absolutely it's very healthy isn't it yeah I think that was so. that was really cool oh, and do you have any lyrics in general that you didn't write that you really love and maybe carry it with you carry oh I don't carry any with me um, okay I uh, I've always been too indecisive in terms of because a long time ago I was like oh maybe I should get a tattoo of like yeah. a lyric here and there but like because I'm so glad I didn't because <laughs> my music taste has changed so much that I probably end up with like a green day tattoo or something okay. <laughs> from when I was like a little in my emo phase yeah um, <laughs> yeah still there um <laughs> but oh man um it's quite hard to think of. there's it just is, so many right? lyrics going around yeah. in my head um yeah, honestly, I've asked you this question, I wouldn't even know how to answer it myself, so, oh, no pressure. Yeah, really. um, I'm, I am a huge fan of lyrics. I think mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of uh, musicians. Hey, guys. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of musicians out there um, that can't ne necessarily sing that well, yeah. but have amazing lyrics, and mm -hmm. I would love listening to it because of that. Yeah. Um, you know, controversial with the singing thing, but I'd say Bob Dylan. Right. You know, he's not got the best voice in the world, but you know, some of his lyrics, it's just, I mean, it's poetic genius. Yeah. Uh, Tom Waits as well. Mm -hmm. he, he's got a Marmite love or hate kind of thing with his voice, like super gruff, but his lyrics are just 
Ugh, oh, this wine, so. Amazing. Um, so anything. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm terrible. It's okay, it's okay, uh, yeah. honestly. I tell you what I will do. Yeah. I will comment on this video when Perfect. I've thought of some. Perfect. With some lyrics. There you go. Brilliant. That's what I'll do. We've got that. Perfect. Um, the first, like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reply with your favourite as well. That yeah. would be so cool to have a little. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we have the same one. Yeah. Let's see. That'd be cool. I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so the first song that you would like somebody to hear who's not familiar with your sounds. Mm -hmm. So if you could just recommend Ooh. one track, maybe to these guys. Who yeah, yeah. Really um, well, I think just it would probably be up there anyway, but because yeah. of that slight background yeah. with that song, something better, I'd probably say that. Yeah. Um, although that doesn't summarize everything that I do. Of course. It's yeah. it definitely. Uh, it gives you an idea of like you know the overall feel of my music yeah. and um, yeah so I'd say listen to that one guys. Perfect. We'll have it yeah. linked down below. Followed by Hollow because I play it on my lap. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so setting up for this interview, guys. This just took us about ten minutes. Oh, yeah. Um, probably longer. Yeah, probably longer. We've changed locations about four times, five times. I'm not sure. I've lost count. Um, so that means we're kind of focused on photography. Mm -hmm. videography so this is also really important for you as an artist to have all yeah. fronts sorted out it's definitely handy being able to do your own photography well not do yeah. your own photography not like with a big camera but um <laughs> like selfie <laughs> selfie um, stick yeah, yeah. <laughs> album cover done <laughs> although i did do my album covers but they're not Amazing. they're not photos of myself so but it's cool. it's really handy being able to do that and posters yeah. and yeah you know i save you know a lot of um, money and time I guess yeah, being able sure. to do stuff myself sure. um, which is fun and it's nice because I get to do it work with other like friends of mine that are yeah. artists and you know sometimes they like if they need an album cover I'll do that for them so I've shot a few friends album Amazing. covers and um, like press photos and stuff so I, I still really enjoy that side yeah. of, side of it um, any I mean anything that kind of stems from music yeah. Um, one of those things being media and photography and videography, it's, it's all fun. Amazing, yeah. Well, also goes into that aspect of things, the social media. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which can be a burden <laughs> that sometimes. Guy. Yeah, that, that guy. thing. So, um, you use it quite well, often, right? Mm. Um, do you think it helps musicians nowadays, or do you think sometimes it's just too much to handle? Um, so, I... I genuinely think if I wasn't a musician I wouldn't have social media because I don't right. I personally am I, uh, yeah no I'll leave that at that but um, yeah. I, I think when it when it comes to actually as a tool for promoting it is amazing I mean yeah. you know that yes there are drawbacks but then there was probably more drawbacks before it because mm -hmm. um, trying to get your music heard then was you know physically handing C CDs to somebody whereas now you can get a fan by it recommending your song to somebody on the other side of the world on Spotify yeah, and right. like I, I often look on Spotify on the uh, on the artist thing it tells you where you're being listened to yeah and like my top listens are in America I've never played music in America ever I've been on holiday yeah but it was before I did music wow and that's it's just cool. like that's where I'm getting listened to the most so it, so that never would have happened yeah. um, so although it can be it can be hard work in terms of keeping up to date and you know and you don't want to spam people as well like I don't like spamming people yeah um, I'm gonna spam you with this though like Perfect. so if you've been watching till here this is why you've seen it because I shoved it in your face Perfect. <laughs> hashtag watch it now <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah it's uh, I, th I do think overall it, it's it's a good thing um, yeah the, the, the downside of it being because it's so easy now to get heard is there's a million the sea of good people has just mm. gone mm -hmm. gone huge and you know yeah. it's, it's a very competitive market that's true um, but I mean yeah it's a good one it's, it's, it's not too one. shabby is it no nah, it's a good one yeah it's a good one and also there can be a lot of cool communities to be a part of and yeah, friends yeah. and all that so do you want to give any shout outs to any fellow musicians that either you love listening to or just really like as people yeah so that these guys can hopefully check out some more music yeah, I will say make sure you check out a singer-songwriter from Chester, uh, a good friend of mine called John Coley. Um, he's, yeah, he's amazing. You know, just go listen to his music. That'll say more about him than I ever could with my words. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> and then a shout out to Robbie as well for introducing me. Yeah, to exactly. Vanessa and House and yeah, Sand. Well so done, thanks, man. Yeah. This cool. wouldn't be happening if it weren't for you. 
Wow, that and I'll be playing really some emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and this, yeah. uh, I'll probably be seeing him because I'm, I play guitar in his band as well. So. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What a small world this is. It is, it is. It is. Cool. So to wrap things up. Please say we're going to mention the sand. Okay, let's do this first. Let's do this first. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> say whatever I have to say about the sand. No, it's, it just made me laugh. Um, we were trying to find a location to uh, play a song before and um, we're next to this like river. And yeah. um, we're walking down, and there's just there's sand, um, which might not seem like a, an important thing to most people, but I was just like, oh, house in the sand, and that was. And uh, to me, in my little world and in my small little head, it was funny. Was but now fun. that I've said it out loud, it's not. So sorry for wasting um, your time. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> we have built. To be fair, this is, <laughs> this is quite a bit of a segue because. My question now is, we have built a house in the sand, haha. <laughs> if you could build a house anywhere in the world, where would you build it? Cool. Probably not in the sand. You know the problem really. for me is... <laughs> the idea of having... If I, okay, well, the idea of having a house yeah. that I could always go visit, that, yeah. that would be cool. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say... Hmm... Maybe like Barcelona. Ooh, I was not expecting that. That's cool. I really like it there. I'm a yeah. skateboarder, so it's like it's skateboarding heaven. Oh, um, is it? Yeah, and the fact that it's, there's not a lot of music goings on there, mm -hmm. and I feel like I could go there for like a break, for like my holidays. Um, right. It's super hard to take a break from music because I love it so much. True. Like I never want to, but sometimes I, I'm like, no, I really yeah, need to take you, a break. You need um, to. But so yeah, that would be a really okay. cool place um, that I could go visit. But it, I wouldn't want to live there like forever because there's like hardly any music scene. And, like, yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, cool. But you could have a house there. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. And it would anybody. probably be in the sand with it being in Barcelona. There we go. It's coming full circle. This is brilliant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right. Um, I think that's a good way to end things here. <laughs> yeah, before I embarrass myself anymore. It's okay. We'll do that later. Um, yeah. So thanks so much for taking the time to No worries. Around here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's nice to be here baking in the melting hot German mm, sun. Yeah. That was intense, wasn't it? 34 degrees in the car before. Yeah. 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 Or just for you guys. So. <laughs> hope you like this if you did give us a little thumbs up and um, subscribe there's gonna be a little button around here and thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time thanks guys Bye.